Many flat earthers believe that if the earth was spinning at about a thousand miles per hour, we should feel it and that everything on the earth would fly off just like the water is flying off the spinning tennis ball. I decided to run a simple experiment to help the flat earthers understand why this is not the case. Here are two balls of different sizes and I will let them go down the ramp at the same time. Flat earthers, what do you predict will happen? Will the balls reach the bottom at the same time? Will the small ball win the race or the big ball? The two balls are traveling down the ramp at the same average speed, but let's count the number of rotations or spins each ball makes starting with the small ball. If you look at the black label in front, we can count the number of spins. One, two, three, four. Now let's do the large ball. I put a sticky note on the basketball to make it easier. Let's count the spins of the big ball. One, Looks like about one and a half spins for the big ball and four spins for the little ball. And even if those balls were going a thousand miles per hour, as the ball gets bigger and bigger, the number of rotations or spins gets smaller and smaller going down that ramp. In fact, the earth is such a big ball that at a thousand miles per hour, it takes 24 hours to spin just once down that ramp. And we, we would need a very long ramp. In a short time period, let's say 60 seconds, that ball, the earth, would barely spin at all.